everybody, my name is Grace Kemp, and I'm going to talk to you on the topic overcomers and their unconditional inheritance in heaven. What is the difference between a reward and uh, an inheritance? Well, basically, rewards, especially speaking of heavenly rewards, have to be earned. For example, 2 Corinthians 5.10 says, We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Incidentally, that judgment seat is only for believers. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. In other words, he will be rewarded according to his life here on earth. He goes to heaven because he trusted Christ. He accepted Christ, a free gift of God. But his rewards after he gets there depends on how he has lived. Those are rewards for his works. On the other hand, an inheritance is based on a believer's relationship. It's not earned. It's because he is related. He is a child of the king. He will inherit certain things. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Now, in a previous, uh, in a previous video, we talked about the fact that all believers are overcomers. Uh, so it says the scripture. So if you're a believer, you are an overcomer, and will it have a heavenly inheritance. Now, what are these unconditional heavenly inheritance items that you will have? regardless of works. These are not rewards. This is a heavenly inheritance. I have listed them, and I've given them all a letter starting with P. The first one is what I call a passport. He says, I will write on him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, and my new name. In other words, you'll be marked as a, a person who is has the right and privilege by uh, virtue of your relationship with the living God. Uh, you are a child of God, and therefore you have a passport to enter the gates of the kingdom. Also, another uh, unconditional part of your inheritance is protection. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. What a guarantee that is. Not only will I not be dismissed as not being in the book of life, but he will publicly confess, yes, I know this person, they're mine. Uh, I will acknowledge them before angels, before God himself. Another thing that is part of your heavenly inheritance is provision. I will give to him to eat of the tree of life in the midst of the paradise of God. He shall be clothed in white raiment. In other words, sin is completely gone and we are righteously at a state of perfection and we will eat of the tree of life. Eternal life is guaranteed. Uh, so he will provide for us by virtue of the fact we are related, by virtue of the fact this is our inheritance. Also there will be a pledge. I will give to him a white stone and in the stone a new name written which no man knows. Now a white stone historically symbolizes uh, an acquittal, uh, that a person is innocent, proven innocent in a court of law. So this is a pardon, a symbol of the fact that our sins are washed away through the blood of Christ and we are set free of the punishment of sin. We will receive a white stone with a personal and private new name symbolizing our relationship. He also says, I will give him the morning star. Now what does that mean? The morning star is one of Christ's names. He says, I am the bright and morning star. In other words, it's a title uh, of, of that we are married to the Lamb of God. We are the bride of Christ. So it's almost like a wedding ring. We're given the white stone and we're given the morning star. I'm going to continue this on the next video. Please come back and we will share other uh, things that will be our inheritance as believers in Christ. God bless you.